Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and this is episode two of our Saxony Let's Play. And you're opening for Salas 4. Just won a war with uh, Wurzburg. We took half of their kingdom. Hooray for us. Are they a kingdom? Uh, are they a kingdom? They're an archbishopric. Well, sucks to be you. Completed a mission by taking Bamberg. Protect against Hungary. You really want me to protect against Hungary? To do that, we have to have a bigger military than they do. That's not going to happen. Placate Pomerania. What does that mean? Get opinion up to 100. Um, no. We are outraged with them. No. These missions suck. Claim our rival's province, Wurzburg. Really? Okay. We'll start claiming that right away. Oh, I need to unfund the troops. Right. Ooh, that'll save a bit. Great. That's off to a good start, I think. Now, how long until we can start integrating these idiots? 1490, we have 40 years. Well, and I guess we don't really have to worry about relations too much. Demand of unlawful territory from Austria. Nope. Sorry, bro. Ain't gonna happen. We don't need to impress Thuringia that much, so we'll get him home. And uh, we can start placating Austria. Improve relations. Uh, we could hire another advisor, but we really can't afford it. So let's not. What's the tech? The tech starts at 333. We just started. Uh, we can tech up our Diplo, so let's do that. Great. Uh, and Bavarian is in the same group as us, but not the exact same culture, so it's probably tolerable. Poor Austria. He demanded stuff and we told him no. <laughs> uh, it's actually not that bad of a penalty. It's only negative 25 and it goes away pretty rapidly. Oh, we can build some stuff. Marketplace, sure. Great. Cologne broke their lines at Wurzburg. Yeah, good. No one likes Wurzburg. We do have a truce with them for a long, long time, so that's sort of a problem, but we'll get that claim anyway. Why not? Someone declared war on the Pope. What's up, Pope? Uh, Tuscany, the Tuscan conquest of Romagna and the Urbino conquest of Ancona. Oh, you're attacking Ancona. So the Pope's trying to connect up his two separated provinces. And Florence is like, hey, I'm going to go take Romagna. <laughs> oh, Tuscany, you're such a dick. Ooh, endorse Renaissance philosophy. What will this do? Lose money, lose admin power, but tech cost is cheaper for 10 years? Only by 2%. No. 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 2%? No. Alright, spend some tech. National ideas, yes! Alright, what's our first national idea? What do you got? What do you guys want to turn Saxony into? There's a whole lot of possibilities here. Okay, what are, what are our Saxon ideas? Increased chance of new air. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a really good chance of getting airs. Uh, production efficiency, 10. I like that. Diplomatic reputation, I love that. Tolerance of heretics? Eh. More diplomatic relations? Oh, relations. That's the number of relations you can have. Okay. A national tax, 10%. I like that. And discipline, 5%. That's okay. Um, I, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we should probably take a, a military one. Maybe not right now, but soon. And I would probably go with either aristocratic or um, offensive. Uh, but we should probably start out with either a Diplo or an Admin idea. Admin, if we do an Admin, I'd probably want to go either Innovative to get some tech or Economic to get more money. 
if we went uh, Diplo, I would probably want to get Trade or Expansion. Either way. What do you guys think would be good? No, I don't want to do a military one just yet. Yeah, suddenly France declares war. Yeah, I think economics is going to be a good way to start. Let's do that. Bam. So the economic tree... England's peace... Oh god, England's falling apart. They started to win that war with Scotland, and now they just have rebels everywhere. Cornish nationalists, peasants... Peasants, peasants, Hussite heretics. Okay. Let's take a look at that idea. Uh, start out. First thing you get, national tax 10%. That's so good. Build costs, so buildings are cheaper. Inflation reduction, that's great. Interest per annum, don't really care about that. Uh, possible advisors, that means you can have another advisor. That's cool. Is there going to get a scroll bar, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh Maintenance, so military is cheaper, and production efficiency, which is just probably the be-all, end-all of everything. If you have good provinces, uh, you can get really, really good production. What is this? Reduce inflation with direct action. Right, reduce inflation. Well, we probably won't have to worry about that just yet, but if we get some loans, that'll come in handy. Yeah, England is really bad at the Hundred Years' War. But what do you going to do? Byzantium annexed... The, uh, I mean, <laughs> the Ottomans are next to Byzantium. Byzantium is gone. Bye-bye. England will see Cow, Calais, Gascony, and Normandy. So the only one they kept is Laborde. I don't know why they kept it, but they did. And uh, now they are quickly losing their war to Scotland. How's our claim going? 39%. You need to hurry up with that claim. Gained a core in Bamberg. Great. Our core is done. Uh, I'm not going to culture shift them. I'm pretty happy with them being Bavarian. It's the same group as, as uh, what are we? Saxon. The same group as Saxon, so it's fine. And look at that. We accept Bavarian now because they're such a large portion of our culture uh, of the whole pie. We check out the ledger real quick. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Country. Uh, province overview? No. Where's the pie? I want to see the pie. I want to see the pie! Where's my pie? Oh, God. I never know where anything is in it. There it is. There's the pies. Uh, cultures. Saxon and Bavarian. Apparently they're both the same color. Well, that's helpful. I can't see any segmentation. This pie is solid. Same color. <laughs> that's so not useful. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, what happened? What happened? Brandenburg declared war on Thuringia. Conquest. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. And Austria declined to help us in this war. Oh, really? All right. Get you out of Austria. We have war with Brandenburg now. Fund the troops. Uh, Poland is going to help us? Yes. Good. Poland's going to help us. Uh, let's run away at the beginning. I need to get my morale up. Should probably convert our leader if we can. Uh, our son is not quite of age. All right, we'll just buy a leader. Not bad. I wish he had some shock, though. All right, and we'll put the speed down, and we'll see what Brandenburg does. Did they get any allies in yet? Not yet. No allies yet. No, it's just Brandenburg. Uh, more local recruiting. Gain some manpower. That's cool. Diplomat is back. All right, Mr. Austria. Can we get an alliance back? No. Oh, we don't like them because they declined our... I mean, they dishonored the alliance. Damn it, I hate that. Well, hopefully that'll go away. Ooh, that's going to take some time. Hmm. All right. Well, in the meantime, let's make sure things... Yeah, Poland loves the shit out of us. Good. So... Yeah, we've got our... I don't know what we're going to use that diplomat for. We'll just peace out, I guess. Okay, he's sieging my vassal. Is that your entire army? Yeah, that's his whole army of 6,000 guys. Now I feel bad for him because we're just going to rape his face. I'll just go to Ruppin. 
No, I'll go to his capital. Like that. And Poland should come help, too. Now, what I'm thinking here is... Uh, we can probably win this war pretty easily, especially if Poland helps. And we might be able to vassalize him. <laughs> That'd be great! <laughs> yeah, if someone declines to help you in a war, like Austria declined to help defend us, uh, you lose instant 100. So we're at negative 100 for Dishonored Alliance, and it goes away really slowly, 1.4 per year. It'd be okay if it went away faster, but it goes away slowly. Anyway, I'm not going to pout. Hey, we discovered the Canaries. Great. You have some other war going on? No. Why aren't you helping? That's odd. Uh, Poland brought some troops up to Pomerania, and then he's not going anywhere. He's not actually helping. He's just chilling. Ah, whatever. Someone annexed someone. I saw that. I don't know who. You know, in the meantime, I'm going to kissy-kissy Austria a little bit. See if we can get relations better. I really want to get this alliance back before they um, get too many uh, other allies. Because they do have a limit on how many... No, it's not negative 50 for Dishonored War Call. It's negative 100. Right there. Dishonored Alliance. Negative 100. It's huge. That's what she said. Man, they're making quick progress of Wittenberg. We're not doing too well in Brandenburg. And Poland is not really helping us for some reason. Alright, Tyrone white pieced out. Scotland is still sieging. Muscovy lost to Kazan. Really? Muscovy, why are you so weak? Is this Novgorod? Yeah, Novgorod is invading Muscovy. What is this? Defender against Twer and the Twerian conquest of Rizhev. Defender against Novgorod and Nov Novgorodian reconquest of Moskva. Defender against Riazan and the Riazani reconquest of Kaluga. Wow. Muscovy is just getting their shit pushed in by everyone. Poor Muscovy. Uh, no, if they had access to the Teutonic Order, they would have walked straight from the Teutonic Order right here into Brandenburg. But they didn't. They went up to Stettin instead. And now they're just chilling. They're not doing anything. Gain money and gain relationship with the Platinate. Or... No, oh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I like money. And the Platinate wants to be our friend, apparently. They are allied with Austria. I'll consider it. I will consider your suggestion. Look at that, he's already at 14%. God damn it. No, they're not blocked by rebels. They could have gone straight through Neumark. Oh, I see what you're saying. They don't have access through through Tuzhans. They don't. They have access to Pomerania, but they can't go this way because of the... Yeah, that makes sense. They can't go the way because of the rebels. I get it. Come on, Poland. You can kill some rebels. He's got 13,000 guys just chilling here, and he's not really using them. God damn it. Oh, no. He's going to win the siege, like, right now. We're probably going to have to go help our, our ally. He's going to go straight for them. Maybe. He should win this turn. Yep, he won. Alright, let's go help our ally. I'm not even going to leave anybody here. We'll just go help our ally. If we can destroy that army, that'd be fantastic. He is taking a river crossing penalty. Nice. Didn't destroy him. He's retreating to Rupin. Alright, we'll go there and then we'll go back to sieging his capital. And put the speed up. And that army's dead. Great. So he's building new troops now. That's fine. Um, looks like only in two provinces. Yeah, when's it going to finish? 20th November. All right. Let's take... Uh, bum, 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 bum. 
take out a soldier and a horsey. No, we'll take out two soldiers. And then you guys can go to Potsdam. And then you guys can split in half. Go to Rupin. And that should be fine. Yep, Rebels are going to... Oh, there you go. Mecklenburg is free. Well... Sucks to be Pomerania. They had four provinces. Now they have two, now they have one. <laughs> the AI is so bad at handling rebels. England surrendered to Scotland, but they only got one province. That's kind of sad. Oh well. England has collapsed. Yeah, big fucking surprise. So Cornwall has spat out free. Uh, no whales, just Cornwall. That's okay. Yeah, Poland army is stuck now. That's kind of sad. It's only 6,000 guys, but he can't actually get home because he does not have access to the Teutons. He could declare war on the Teutons. That would get him home. Or declare war on uh, Mecklenburg. That would work as well. Now we'll see what he does. Yeah, this is Iron Man mode. No, they won't disband. The AI doesn't know how to disband troops that are stuck like that. Well, this turned out really well. Brandenburg did not call their allies in, or the allies refused to join. So, we're in a good position here. Alright, we got a claim on Würzburg that finished a mission. Take Ertz. I would love to, but you're still allied with Poland, right? No, they lost their alliance with Poland. Okay, then I would love to take Ertz. Um, blah, blah, blah. Protecting the time, improve relations with... Well, let me do this one first. Improve relations with the Palatinate, because they were looking to be a buddy anyway. So let's do that. And we'll see if we can get our alliance back with Austria. Yeah, we're at positive. We can probably get our alliance back. No, we'll take a look why. Why? Oh, we're at war. As soon as the war is over, they'll take the alliance. Great. So we need to improve relations with uh, the Palatinate. Oh, we're hostile. Well, why do you want me to improve relations if we're hostile? Oh, silly missions. I never understand you. Build something. That'll make me happy. They were, they were friendly with us a minute ago, and now they're hostile. Oh, I know why. Because we border them now. This is the Palatinate as well. That's why we're hostile. Well, if we can't be friends, maybe I should just fabricate a claim on your dumbass. No, no. Let me get a claim. Let me get a second claim over here in uh, Bavaria. Let's go for Oberlausitz. Yeah. All right. Finish up that last province, please. Dishonorable scum against Bavaria. Ooh. Cool. There we go. Alright, will you take vassalization or are you too fat? He might be too fat. Let's go home. And let's lower our maintenance. Are you too fat? He is not too fat. Oh, this is great. He is absolutely perfect to be a vassal. And he'll even give me three ducats. <laughs> Fantastic! We have a vassal. We just gotta improve relations with him and we'll be fine, but in the meantime, let's get our alliance back with Austria. Great. And then we'll start improving relations with our new vassal. He doesn't even want a marriage because we hate each other so much. That's funny. Oh well. Kissy kissy. Hey, you attacked me, dipshit. Not my fault. Oh, he's a... He's an elector? He is! 
But he's still voting for Austria. Interesting. Oh well, I don't need to be emperor, at least not yet. What are our chances of inheriting this guy every time we die? Probably pretty small. Oh, we haven't even had him for 50 years yet, that's right. No chance yet. So does Poland have a king yet? Okay, he does have a king now. Same dynasty as us. Oh, he has a king from our dynasty. Very cool. Huh. I like that. In fact, that's it's still his only royal marriage is with us. Is with us. That's kind of cool. Huh. Controlling electors gives us a negative 50. Oh, not in relations, but in the voting. Yeah, controlling other electors, negative 50. Interesting. But if you vassalize like three of them, then you're going to win the election anyway. Allied with the Platinate, Pomeranian, Terrier. That's fine. Mains, the Platinate, Saxony. So you probably would... I bet Austria would help us against uh, Bohemia. I'm surprised they didn't help us in that defensive war. They should have. They really should have helped us in that defensive war. Oh well, let's tech up our military. Great. And now we should start getting income from vassals. Yeah, we're getting one ducat a month from our vassal. I like that. Bourgeois request privileges. Grant them privileges, lose diplomatic, or lose admin power. We'll lose the admin power. Because the diplomatic we're going to use for... I mean, we'll lose the... Oh, shit, I hit the wrong one. Damn it, I should have done the diplo. I wanted to use the admin for our ideas. God damn it. Stupid Shen. Let's go ahead and build some armories. That'll make me feel better. They were already at war. That's why they didn't help. But Austria joins tons of wars all the time. Especially when it's a defensive war like that. They love to fight defensive wars. They join them all the time. Yes, you can see the, uh, the map of the HRE. Oh, I heard a ding. I gotta go do my laundry. There's the map of the HRE. Uh, it, everything that's dark green or light green. Light green is the emperor. And kind of pale green are electors. So Austria has all of this land, all of this land, all of this. So they got a good chunk of burgundy. Uh, these guys are all just regular HRE members, and then these colors are electors, meaning they get to vote for the next emperor. And uh, here's an interesting one. Venice, all of their land is in the HRE, all of this, except their capital. <laughs> That's the only one not in the HRE. That's so weird. So technically, since their capital is not in the HRE, they are not in the HRE, which is really interesting. Anyway, my uh, timer went ding, so I gotta go get my laundry. I'll be back in a few minutes. See you then. Have a good one.